Hello guys, welcome back once again. Today we are going to look at C Sharp inside of Visual Studio 2026. If you are a beginner, don't worry. By the end of this video, we have the first program, C Sharp program running. To understand the basics of our project. Let's get it. But before we do so, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Yeah. <clears throat> Is one of the most popular programming languages. It's used for web apps, desktop software, games, Unity, even mobile apps like Maui. So, with, and, and Visual Studio 2026 gives us everything we need to write, debug, and publish our C application. One. Get us started. Make sure that you put the latest version of the Visual Studio system. For this video, I've got the Visual Studio 2026. As you can see, I've opened it. If you haven't, pause the video, go back and watch my video on how to download it. If that's not the case, let's go straight, let's go to trading. So as you can see, I've got Visual Studio 2026. Let's go ahead and click on create new project. So as we can see here now, we've got the new project dialog. Yeah, so here, there are a bunch of project um, um, templates that we can use. So on the language side, this is a, a C sharp. This video is um, C sharp. Let's go ahead and select that. Let's select C sharp. So once we select the C sharp, so this is these are the um, type of project that we. Can Create inside a visual feature project that we can create inside a visual so create a command line application of, of, of console app. You can also use C sharp to create a Blazor web app. A Blazor web app is a project template for creating a Blazor web application that supports both server side rendering and client interactivity. So on the on my upcoming video, have a look at this in terms of getting us ourselves started. For this video sake, we're going to look at the basis of um, C sharp. If we scroll down here, yeah, so we've got we've got a bunch of projects like ASP.NET Core Web App. But this is also a template for creating ASP.NET Core Web Application. You can also use it for ASP.NET Core Web API. Uh, we create ASP.NET Core ERP service. We can also Create a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, create a WPF desktop application, Windows Forms desktop application, uh, Windows UI application, uh, .NET MAUI cross platform application, cross platform application. Yeah, and that's not it. So, for this video's sake, yeah, we're going to use um, console app. So, I'm going to type the console. Also on the search, but this will actually show it, um, a bunch of console applications that we can create. So if we look at it here, we've got two console apps in um, C Sharp here. One is for .NET framework. This is the legacy .NET framework. Then the other one is for uh, .NET standard. Applications. So these are um, uh, these targets. Uh, two distinct um, platforms. But for this video's sake, let's use the .NET framework instead of the .NET standard. But obviously, the .NET standard is created. So here, all you can do is configure your project details, like the project's name and where you want the project to be located in terms of what folder you want the project in, and your solution name. And you can also um, select what .NET framework that you want to use. Okay, so as you can see here now, we've got a whole lot of frameworks that are, that can be used for uh, projects. Okay, 
basically it's just a um, version. Um, let's leave it as it is. You say and configure. So as we can see here now, so, um, a project, very simple project, created for us. But before we jump into coding, let's take a quick look at the project structure. So as you can see here now, we've got a um, yeah, solution explorer, where all our files are organized. Okay. So here inside of um, our project console. Um, the file here is a program is open on this. This program is open. Okay. So um, you may also see um, dot .cs project file. Okay. So this is the main project or the configuration for your project. Okay. And and obviously the the program is uh, is uh, is where our code basically entry point for our application okay so now let's write something so as we can see here now um, let's have a look at what we like as we can see the first bit here for using system using system the collection of generics and stuff like that the using statements gives us access to basic functionality like printing a test and whatnot yeah, and this and then the program class program is a container for us. Yeah, so program not yes. If we look inside here, we've got static void main. Yeah, so the static void main is the entry point, the very first method that runs when the program starts. Then and inside it we can write some like um Console dot write line. This will print test the console. Okay, so let's write that line. Or see, you can write CW and then tap. Okay. Okay. So. <clears throat> As you can see, let's write, let's declare an integer. We declare an in integer by using the keyword int and the name of the integer x. Let's make it equal to five. So basically, what we've done is we've declared an integer and we've, signed, we have, we've assigned a value five to the integer. So you can print out the integer by using the name of it. X. So basically, what this is doing is is only printing the value of x okay so let's go ahead and run it so running it um is running uh, your program inside the visual studio you can use f5 or you can just use that button up here so as you can see here now have the value of x printed here so let's go ahead and, and, and add something else before we sign up okay so the next bit yeah, let's declare a string so the string contains um, a test like an integer contains an int i mean an int contains an integer number so we've got um our string String y, which is equal to hello world. Yeah, so this is also how we declare um, a string. It contains text. Okay. So here, you can also uh, you can put a y here. Yeah, so this will actually uh, print out the value by which hello world. Yeah, so as you can see, it's not very difficult to get yourself start in terms of programming. Yeah. On our next video, what we're going to do is we're going to take this further in terms of creating a web application or creating a desktop application.